So just coming into a nice restful position, just finding yourself somewhere comfortable to sit. Just gently closing down the eyes and starting to consciously arrive in this moment. Putting behind you the busyness of your day up until now. And pressing pause on all of the thoughts, all of the tasks and to-do lists. And just mentally providing this next hour for yourself. starting to become aware of anything going on in the physical body this morning. Noticing any tension, any aches and pains, anything that might need a little bit of extra support today. And then noticing the mind, seeing where it's at right now. Does it feel like it's going to be able to be calm and focused? Or is it busy and scattered? No judgment, just awareness of where you're at in this moment. And then seeing if you can tap into the energetic body, noticing if there's a bit of a buzz going on, whether you feel a little sluggish, just anything on that deeply energetic level. And finally, emotions, anything coming up for you, anything that you've been working on the last couple of days, noticing where that emotion might be sitting at the moment, whether it's on its way up, to intensity point, or whether it's starting to drop away. And consciously just finding yourself here in the present, in the here and now. And it's from this place of connection that we practice our acknowledgement of country we acknowledge the traditional custodians of our land that we live on and we recognise their ancestral history and continuing connection to land, water and community. We pay our respects to the elders past, present and emerging and recognise they never ceded sovereignty and that their culture here remains strong. An awareness of the breath now at the nostrils. Noticing that natural, spontaneous inhalation and exhalation. Observing that little brush of air as it enters and exits the nostrils. Perhaps noticing a little warmth on the exhalation a little coolness on the inhalation. Deep presence and awareness through our observation of the breath. And now just starting to take a little control of that breath. Nice, deep, full inhale. Nice, deep, full exhale. A few rounds on your own, just ensuring you're filling the lungs with all of that fresh prana, all of that fresh chi. And fully emptying out anything that you don't need to take forward into your day, stale, stagnant energy. Full inhale and full exhale rounds. And 
on your next exhalation, just softening the breath a little. Still nice, big inhales and exhales, but no need to force. Just using the breath to guide your practice. Using the breath as a rhythm. And using it as an anchor point throughout our asana practice. Always bringing the mind back to the breath if it ever wanders. Today's class throughout, we're going to just focus on this period of transition we're all in again. Some of us, we're really starting to come out of lockdown. Some of us are starting to ramp up at work. Some of us are starting to ramp down. It's a time for us to be aware of change and how that affects us, whether we resist it or whether we embrace it. There's a beautiful quote that I'd like to open the practice with, and it is, a ship is safe in harbour, but that is not what ships are for. We'll bring the hands together in prayer, thumbs against the heart space. We'll open with three rounds of Om, followed by the Gayatri Mantra. Feel free to join in or just listen. Deep breath in. Om. Savitu Badenyam Bargu Deva Syati Mahi Dio Yona Prachodaya. Just gently releasing the hands, eyes slowly starting to open. Just some gentle head rolls, right ear, right shoulder, dropping the head forward. Slow, easy rotation, starting to loosen any tension in the neck. At least two big circles in one direction. And then when you're ready, back the other way. Eyes are closed, just allowing the body to drive the pace and the depth in which you move today. And then coming back to centre, let's do our deep suffy rolls. Right shoulder comes forward. Nice big rotation coming from the waist. Keeping the buttocks planted on the floor. We'll do four in each direction. Starting to loosen that lower back. When you feel ready, slowly back the other way. Noticing anywhere in the physical body as you do these turns that feels a little bit tense today. And consciously committing to work on releasing. And coming back to centre, let's move straight up into all fours. I'm going to do a bit more standing flow work today, so we'll get moving fairly quickly. Let's come into cat-cow, so we drop the belly, chest forward, gaze comes upwards. Tuck the tailbone, curve the spine, chin in towards the chest. And again, breathing in, drop the belly, big inhalation. Breathing out through the nostrils, curve that spine, chin to chest. Two more, just moving with the eyes closed, connecting breath with body. And then bring yourself 
yourself back to a neutral spine. Let's freestyle the hips. Let's start to draw big circles, start to release any sort of tension as we roll the hips forward and back around, just any way that feels good. Keeping the hands and the knees planted, but moving the body any way you like to otherwise. And then coming back to base, back to our neutral spine in tabletop. Hands just half a palm's length forward. Let's tuck the toes, hover the knees as we start to extend into our first downward dog. Hands are pushing away, elbows are long and straight. Head is dropped. Give it a little shake and a nod. Just release any tension in the neck. Spine long and straight, hips drawing up and back. And once you've got that foundation, then we can slowly start to straighten the knees, slowly start to draw the heels down towards the mat. Walking the dog, one heel up, one heel down, if that feels like a nice way to start to extend through the back of the legs. Just moving gently, carefully as we really extend the spine and stretch through the backs of the legs. And then when you're ready, let's just draw both heels down together. Feel a sensation of the shoulders, shoulder blades are almost coming in towards each other, armpits are rolling slightly outwards. Spine is long, hips are up and back. Let's find stillness here, connecting with the breath. Full long inhalations and exhalations in through and out through the nostrils. Two more breaths. Now let's drop the knees nice and wide, feet come to touch, sitting ourselves back onto the feet, draw those arms forward nice and long, fingers out nice and wide, big stretch through the fingertips, forehead drops down to the mat. Feel that extension in the arms as we lie here in this restful surrendering pose, providing length, and we're opening up some of those energy channels, the nadis through the fingers, all the way through the arms. Focusing on the breath if the mind starts to wander. And then slowly bringing ourselves back up to tabletop. Just a little flow while we're here. So bringing yourself to that neutral spine. And we'll breathe in as we drop the belly, bring the chest forward. We'll breathe out as we curve the spine, tuck the chin. Tuck the toes, breathe in, coming up into downward dog. Breathe out as we drop the knees back down to the floor and tuck the toes. And again, breathe in, belly down. Breathe out, coming into cat. Breathing in, up into downward dog. Breathing out, drop the knees back to a neutral spine. Two more rounds on your own. Connecting the breath with the movement. One more and this time I'll meet you in downward dog. Allowing the breath to just return to normal. 
And when you're ready, we'll come up onto the toes, gaze between the hands. Let's slowly walk the feet up towards the middle of the hands. We'll come into ragdoll, so your feet are slightly apart, knees are bent, chest sits down on the thighs. We'll take hold of opposite elbow. Allow the head to relax, the neck to relax, and we'll swing from side to side. Feeling that movement from the lower back in the hip area. It's not in the shoulders and the arms. And when you're ready, release the hands, keep those knees bent and we'll slowly roll to stand. Slowly, slowly allowing the head to come last. And then let's roll the shoulders back, opening up through the chest. We'll just do a little um, twist spin here. So feet are just slightly apart, hands are nice and loose beside the body. And we're just gonna have a little bend in the knees and a little twist. Start to just move that spine in a different direction here. Coming back to centre, we're gonna have a little bit of a shake. So we'll start to shake the hands, the fingers. Getting rid of all of the stuff we're holding on to. Let's start to shape the feet and the legs. We've got to move. That ship's got to come out of the harbour. So we need to shake off the resistance. Start to move. Start to get rid of stuff we don't need. Start to move the shoulders. Let's shake any way we want to. Just let it go. Shut the eyes if that feels good. No one's watching. Do whatever you have to do to shake off any feelings of holding on, of resistance, of stagnancy, anything you don't want to take. Let's come into fresh opportunity. Shake it out. Starting to slow it down. Starting to get rid of the last bits out of the fingertips and the toes. Starting to feel that energy moving. And then coming to the top of the mat, big inhalation through the nostrils. Big sigh out the mouth, letting it go. And just taking a moment to feel, feel all of that prana, that energy flowing through the body. Feel the pulse or the buzz or whatever it is for you. A little warmth, a tingle. Notice the breath. Feel what it feels like to be in this period of transition. Whether it's transition in class of warming up to getting into flow whether it's a transition out of 2020 into 2021 and all that that means for you. Whether it's the beginning of something new and exciting or the end of something intense and a bit hard and dark. Feeling this very moment as your time of transitioning. Let's come to the top of the mat work through a few rounds intuitively I'll tell you when we're going to move a few rounds of half sun salutes and then we'll flow straight into some full sun salutes so feet are just slightly apart hands at the heart space you guys know what you're doing so we'll keep moving together let's not rush it let's move mindfully and smoothly Breathing in, arms up overhead. Let's look up at the hands, a little bend in the spine. Breathing out, deep forward fold, bend in the knees, chest comes down to the thighs. Breathing in, halfway lift, long straight spine, gaze just slightly forward. Breathing out, deep forward fold. Breathing in, arms overhead, bend in the spine. Breathing out, hands to prayer. Let's keep rolling. Breathing in, arms overhead, drawing in all of the glory of a new beginning. 
Breathing out, deep forward fold, bowing to everything that we've learned in our past. Breathing in, halfway lift, honouring ourselves here. Breathing out, forward fold, gratitude for everything we've been through. Breathing in, drawing in that energy of a new beginning. Breathing out, hands to prayer. One more round, breathing in, arms overhead. Breathing out, forward fold. Breathing in, halfway lift, long straight spine. Breathing out, forward fold. Breathing in, arms overhead. Breathing out, hands to prayer. Let's keep moving into full sun salutes. Breathing in, arms overhead. Breathing out, forward fold. Breathing in, halfway lift. Breathing out, forward fold. Let's step the right foot back. Just have that back foot on a 45 degree angle. Breathing in, let's come up into warrior one. Breathing out, hands come down to the floor and we step back into a plank. Breathing in, we hold here. Breathing out, let's drop the knees, chest, chin down to the floor, untap the toes. Breathing in, baby cobras, we start to warm the spine. Breathing out, down to the mat. Tap the toes, breathing in, into downward dog, we'll take a breath here. Breathing out, holding here. Breathing in, come up onto the toes, gaze comes forward. Breathing out, let's walk both feet up into a deep forward fold. Breathing in, halfway lift. Breathing out, forward fold. Breathing in, arms overhead. Breathing out, hands to prayer. Other side, breathing in, arms up. Breathing out, forward fold. Breathing in, halfway lift. Breathing out, forward fold. Breathing in, left foot comes back. We come up into warrior one. Breathing out, hands down to the floor, stepping back into high plank. Breathing in, hold the high plank. Breathing out, drop knees, chest, chin, flat to the floor. Breathing in, up into baby cobra, bend in the elbows. Breathing out, flat to the floor. Breathing in, tuck the toes up into downward dog. Holding here as we're breathing out. Breathing in, up onto the toes, look forward. Breathing out, walk both feet up into the deep forward fold. Breathing in, halfway lift. Breathing out, forward fold. Breathing in, arms overhead. Breathing out, hands to prayer. And let's release. Let's just stand in mountain pose for a moment. Feet are slightly apart. We've got the arms just away from the body and the palms facing forward in receptivity. Feeling strength and sturdiness in the legs. Tailbone is tucked. Pelvis slightly tilted to create length in the spine. And the chin is ever so slightly drawn downwards to create length all the way through the back of the head. Eyes are closed. Noticing anything coming up for you. Physically, mentally, energetically or emotionally. The tingles. The breath. The heartbeat. 
Just taking a moment to observe this moment. And when you're ready, you will come back to the top of the mat. Hands in prayer, ready to flow again. Find your steadiness. Find your stability. Know that in any transition, there is always safety in this present moment. Breathing in, arms up overhead, looking up at the hands. Breathing out, deep forward fold. Breathing in, halfway lift, long straight spine. Breathing out, deep forward fold. Breathing in, right leg comes back, arms come up as we come into warrior one. And we're going to just relax our focus on the breath here. Just nice, deep, full inhalations and exhalations. Less about the rhythm, more about us just taking a few moments in each of these postures. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Couple of breaths here. And then let's open ourselves up into warrior two. So we open up to the wide edge of the mat. The back foot turns to a 90 degree angle. We open up the arms and our gaze goes to the middle finger of the front hand. Just check there's a nice bend in that front leg. Couple of breaths, warrior two. Let's drop the left hand, um, elbow onto the left knee, extend that right arm up and over. We come into a long extension through the right side of the body, feeling from the fingertips all the way down to the outer edge of that right foot. Couple of breaths. Let's bring that right arm up and over. Place it on the back of that leg. Left arm comes up and we just create a nice stretch through the left side body here. A few breaths, feeling the left side stretching and opening. And now let's come up to the middle and we'll place both hands down on the floor, either side of that left foot. Let's step back into a high plank, adjusting our breath now, breathing in. Breathing out as we drop the knees, chest, chin down to the mat. Breathing in, up into Cobra. Breathing out, dropping back down flat to the mat. Breathing in, up into Downward Dog. Let's take a full breath out here. Breathing in, up onto the toes, gaze between the hands. Breathing out, let's walk the feet up into our forward fold. Breathing in, halfway lift. Breathing out, forward fold. Breathing in, arms overhead. Breathing out, hands to prayer. Let's keep rolling onto the other side. Breathing in, arms up. Breathing out, forward fold. Breathing in, halfway lift. Breathing out, forward fold. Breathing in, this time we take the left foot back into warrior one. Right foot in right lane, left foot in left lane. Shoulders drop away, nice bend in that front leg. Couple of breaths. Feeling the strength. Now let's open up into warrior two. So we open up the hips to the long edge of the mat. Back foot adjusts to a 90 degree angle. We've got a nice bend through that front knee over the right foot. A couple of breaths. Now let's drop the right elbow to the right knee. The left arm comes up. Long stretch through the left side body. 
a lateral stretch here from the fingertips to the outer edge of the foot. Left arm comes back up. We bring ourselves back up, right? Left hand on that back leg. Right arm comes up. We'll just create a nice stretch through the right side. Breathing. Now let's draw the right arm, bring the body upwards. Right hand, left hand frames that right foot and we step back into high plank. Catching up with the breath, breathing in on high plank. Breathing out as we drop the knees, chest, chin to the floor. Untuck the toes, let's come up into full cobra if you can, arms, elbows are straight. Breathing out, roll down flat on the mat. Breathing in, tuck the toes up into downward dog. Let's take a couple of breaths here. Let's take a moment to rest. Feel that length in the spine. Feel the calves as the heels draw downwards. And next time you breathe in, let's come up onto the toes, gaze forward, bend the knees. Breathing out, let's walk ourselves forward into our forward fold. Breathing in, halfway lift. Breathing out, forward fold. Breathing in, arms up overhead. Breathing out, hands to prayer. And release. Back into mountain, really feeling into everything you felt in that sequence, whether there was parts you resisted, the body physically resisted, or the mind resisted, or whether you felt able to flow, knowing that that boat can't stay in the harbour, recognising aspects of your practice and your reactions to it as aspects in your own life. Now let's come into a nice wide stance here. So legs out nice and wide, toes towards the front of the mat. We'll bring the hands onto the hip, long straight spine. Let's lift the chin a tiny bit. And then leading with the chest, we want to draw ourselves forward. We'll drop the hands once we get to the hip height. We'll drop the hands, but place them underneath the face. Long, straight spine still. And now we're going to walk the hands in. We want to have them in line between both feet and we drop the head downwards. So they're in line with both feet. Head is dropped down. You might bend the elbows, draw the elbows together if that creates a nice deeper bend. If it's too intense, have a little bend in the knees, that's fine. We're creating length in the spine here. And then we're gonna walk both hands over to the left foot. Right hand takes hold of the left elbow. And if that's enough, sorry, left, <laughs> Right hand takes hold of the left ankle, and if that's enough, stay here. Otherwise, we'll take that left arm, we'll extend it up and over, all the way over to the right hip, and we'll peel the left shoulder open as we create a nice big twist here. Couple <laughs> of breaths. Excuse the audio. And then let's release that left arm, bring it down, rest it on that left ankle and let's walk the hands back to the center. Take a moment here again, a little bend of the elbows, drawing the elbows together as we draw ourselves closer towards the floor. And walking over to the other side. This time left hand takes hold of the right ankle and the right arm draws up and over. Place it on the left hip, open the shoulder, look over the left shoulder. Nice big twist here. 
couple of breaths. And release the right hand, meeting the left hand and then walking with it back to the center. One last deep forward fold. And now let's walk the hands back out until they are in line with the face. Let's come up long straight spine, a little tiny bend in the knees, hands come to the hips and we'll slowly, slowly come up to standing. Let's move into a squat from here. So we just start to adjust the feet a little bit. They're still pointed outwards and we want to slowly, slowly bring ourselves down to a squat. So you might need to adjust a little bit somehow Ideally, we want to get the soles of the feet on the floor, but if that's not available to you, up on the toes is fine. Elbows are pushed into the insides of the knees, hands in prayer, long straight spine. And once you get there, let's close the eyes. We'll take four breaths here. Opening up through the hips, using the elbows to open the hips. And when you're ready, we'll just allow ourselves to collapse down onto the floor. We'll come down onto the belly. So bring yourself down onto the belly. We'll extend, actually, sorry, we'll bring the, the hands in onto the sacrum area. Forehead is down on the floor, neck is centered. We've got the legs slightly apart if that feels good for you. And we're gonna come into locust. So what we'll do is we'll bring the right hand and we'll bring it around. And at the same time, we'll lift the left leg up. So we come into opposite arm, opposite leg lifting, head is up off the ground. And then we draw the right hand back down, forward placed back down on the floor, left leg lowers. Other side, left arm comes around, lifts up, right leg. Slowly back down, forward, back to the floor. Right arm, left leg again. Right arm forward, up, head lifts, left foot lifts. Slowly, slowly drop the forehead back down left arm, right leg lifts. And slowly lower everything back down to the ground. Let's just bring both arms in underneath the face. Let's turn the left cheek to the floor, looking towards the right, eyes are closed. Let's just take a moment to allow the spine to recalibrate and flatten out a little. Just taking a moment to observe anything that the back bends are starting to bring up for you. And then let's turn to the other cheek, right cheek down, gazing to the left, eyes closed. And then coming back to center, we're going to come up into bow. So let's keep the forehead down on the floor. We're going to bring the soles of the feet up towards the ceiling, knees towards the buttocks. Both hands come around and we want to take hold of the um, ankles here. So forehead's down towards the floor, shoulder blades are squeezing and we start to draw everything up, just leaving the belly on the mat. So coming up into bow pose, keep breathing, legs drawing up, chest is open, shoulder blades squeezing and slowly, slowly lower down. We're going again, so just hold onto the feet still, but allow the forehead to drop down to the mat. Just a couple of breaths. And one more, let's rise the head, bring it drawing upwards. Let's lift the feet, lift the legs. Knees are off the floor, thighs are off the floor, chest is off the floor. 
open through the chest. Continue to breathe. And slowly, slowly release everything down to the floor. Hands again underneath the head and just drop the left cheek to the floor. Bow is a little more intense. It's quite a peak posture. So just noticing if anything is coming up. Sometimes the opening of the chest can release things that we hold in our heart. Just observing at this moment. And now right cheek to the floor, turn to look to the other side. And then head back to centre. Let's place the hands just beside the chest and slowly, carefully bring ourselves up to a seated position. We'll come into butterfly pose. So we want to have the soles of the feet together. Nice, long, straight spine. Draw the heels in towards the body as much as you can. Long straight spine and then we're going to slowly, slowly walk the hands forward. Option for palms up. If you can get your elbows closer to the floor that feels good or down. Keep the spine straight and long. And then once you get to a point that you feel like you've got the full intensity of the stretch, allow the spine to soften, shoulders to round. Allow the hips to release a little more. Head can draw downwards if that's not too intense on the neck. And just allow yourself to come into stillness. Focus on the breath. As we've moved through the flow and the warming types of postures, things might have started to get mixed up in terms of emotions and energy, things that you've been holding places have released. And it's when we come into these softer holds, the time to turn within, the time to quieten down, that we get an opportunity to process them. So just noticing if there's anything today that needs processing. And if there is, don't push it away and ignore it. Pick it up. Look at it. Ask yourself where it comes from. And when you're ready, wish it well and gently release it from your life, your, from your body, consciously and intentionally. We've got four more breaths here. Slowly, slowly pushing into your hands and bringing yourself back upright. Let's open up the legs nice and wide now. Just you might need to push into the hands to push the hips a little further forward. I'm going to create a nice side stretch. So the right hand comes down on the inside of that right leg. Turn the chest to open and the left arm up and over. You can go anywhere, you can feel a little bit uncomfy, but just try and find somewhere that allows you to open up the chest and feel a nice stretch through that left side. If you want to bring the hand up and over, tuck it into the back of your pants, that's fine. Otherwise, just place it on the head or anything. It just creates a nice stretch and allows you to soften in for a moment.
And just release that top hand, bring it up and over. Use the lower hand to leverage yourself back to center. Let's just take a moment, close down the eyes. Feel if you can feel anything in that left side waist down to the hip, a little warmth or tingle. And notice the difference to the right side. The difference between moving out of the harbour and staying where you are. And now moving that right hip into out of the harbour, let's bring the left arm into the inside edge, right arm up and over. Reset yourself in any way you can. Mirroring that nice stretch, this time on the right side. Having an awareness of where the mind goes in these moments of silence and observing them as if you are looking at an object. Where does it go? Why does it go there? Right arm lifts up, using the left arm to push yourself back up to centre. Now let's walk both hands forward here, just creating length in the spine again, feeling a nice big stretch on the inside edge of both legs, up through in particular the upper thighs. Working into our liver meridians, great for detoxification finding somewhere that you can find stillness. Thinking about where your life is transitioning right now. What areas Is it home? Is it relationships? Is it work? Is it family? Thinking about all the places where there's change and within them where there's resistance and where there is embracing. And then what does that tell you about yourself and where you need to do more work? Three more breaths here. Slowly, slowly using the hands to come back to a seated position. Spring, use the hands to bring the legs back in. I'm going to come into a seated twist. So we'll bring the left leg in close to the body. The right leg extends over the top. If that's not available to you, you can just extend the left leg out and wrap the right foot over the top. So whichever version of a twist works for you. We'll take the right arm up nice and straight, left hand down behind the left buttock. So it's your left leg that's wrapped underneath. And then we're going to slowly bring that elbow down to the inside of the right leg and we'll turn and look over the left shoulder. Long straight spine, I want you to bring the head back a little bit and then it, with, with, a, with an extended spine, turn a little more towards the left. Using the breath, drawing it up and down the spine. We're here for four more breaths. And 
And then let's bring the head back first. Then let's release that right arm till it's sitting behind the body. And then we will release the top leg. Just extend the legs out in front of you for a moment. Again, noticing one side that's been through the change versus the other side that has not yet had that process. And then setting up on the other side, this time the right foot comes in underneath, the left foot up over the top. We'll place the right hand down on the floor, left arm up nice and tall, long straight spine. Left elbow on the inside of that left knee, turn and look over the right shoulder. And then let's just bring ourselves back to the side, readjust the long straight spine and then turn a little more. Feel the right side chest opening. Breathing deeply into the chest, in and out of the chest. Two more breaths. Let's draw the head back first, then release that left arm, releasing both legs, and we'll just bring them out in front of us. So just starting to find yourself in a comfy position here. So we want the legs out nice and straight, and we want to be able to come to a forward bend here. So you might need to pull the buttock cheeks out a little bit. You might even need to sit on a cushion if you can't kind of... Um, draw yourself forward. Long straight spine and then we're just going to slowly walk the hands forward, finding anywhere that you're able to hold on to. If that's the feet, great. If it's the knees or it's the shins, that's fine too. Long straight spine, draw the elbows downwards and then when you're ready, permission to round the spine a little around the shoulders, drop the head if that feels good. Pascha Uttanasana, which is our deep forward fold. The real opportunity to turn within and listen. We'll take about a minute here. I'll leave you in silence. Four more long deep breaths. And then gently releasing any hold you've got on the legs, using the hands to gently push yourself back upright and let's just take a moment with the eyes closed. Feel the physical sensation. Feel into your mood. Notice if there's any change in your mood or your energy and emotions from when we started. Noticing the mind.
And then as gently and without as much movement as possibly, mindfully make your way down to Shavasana, lying on the mat, lying on your back. Body is centered, spine long and straight, head and neck centered. Legs apart, feet rolled outwards, arms away from the body and palms facing up. Eyes are closed. And just a few minutes here in complete silence. Allowing the body to fully relax. Just allowing the breath now to deepen a little. Starting to remember yourself lying here on the mat. Just wriggling the fingers and toes as you bring some movement back into the body. Nice big stretch, arms above the head. Legs, toes extended, long spine. And let's draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little hug, a moment of gratitude for showing up today. And then rolling to one side. Just taking a moment here. When you're ready, pressing in to the hand, the top hand, and bringing yourself back up to the center, coming seated. Let's bring the palms face down on the knees, gently closing down the eyes. One final check in. Noticing how you feel in this present moment on every level, physical, mental, energetic, and emotional. And whatever's coming up, knowing that it just needs to be looked at, it needs to be processed, and we need to move on. A ship is safe in its harbour, but that's not what ships are for. Bring the hands back together in prayer, thumbs against the heart space. One final round of Om to seal the practice. Breathing in together.
divine spark in me honors the divine spark in you. Namaste. Bowing forward. Thanks, everybody.